everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am heading to Disneyland Paris for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I'm doing exactly what I do every time I go to Disneyland. You guys know the drill by now. I'm on the coach and then I spend all day on the coach and this time I'm staying in the B&B hotel which is an associated hotel and I stayed there in my 2016 vlog so two years ago so we stayed there before and we've got two days in the park in both parks Christmas Eve and Christmas Day so I'm really excited because I get to spend Christmas Eve and Christmas Day in Disney which I've never done Disney other than for the summer before so obviously I'm with Matthew again <laughs> and we're on the ferry it's been a little bit different this time because obviously when we go it's normally sunny and bright and it's been dark and raining but still it's not too cold so yeah let's go and have a look around the ferry and get to Disneyland because I can't wait oh and we also have an extra day we are going to Paris on Boxing Day so I'm gonna include that in these vlogs as well let's go <laughs> toilet break and when we came back there was some crackers on our seat. How nice is that? We're here. And these kisses are really heavy. Oh the room's nice. One, two, three, four, five, class, four more. Oh. So me and Matthew have been in the room literally like five minutes. Matthew went straight downstairs to get a kettle because last time we stopped here you could get a kettle. But now you can't. You can go to the bar and get cups of hot water. So we've brought tea bags. It's, it's, tea it's a good thing we brought milk and tea bags because it used to be, I'm sure it was, two euros fifty for a kettle, milk and tea bags, and sugar and coffee. And now you can literally just get cups of hot water. So it's a good thing we brought milk and tea bags. So we're having a cup of tea. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. We're really tired. What time is it? It's half ten. We've just gotten here. I'm very tired. It's surprising how tiring it can be sitting on a coach all day. But we're gonna I'm have actually not as bad as usual. So I am. Yeah. <coughs> only like absolutely dying by this point. Yeah, I'm more kind of just like. I've got a headache and I don't want to sit on a coach anymore. No. But I don't feel too bad. I'm more just kind of like I need to be out of the coach and just do something else for a bit and then go to sleep. Like maybe put a bit of telly on. Well, on level success. There's a big Christmas tree we'll look at. Yeah, we're gonna have a little wander just to stretch our legs and then we're going to bed, so we'll take you down with us. <laughs> If you 
watch my vlogmas or my well yeah vlogmas you'll know that i didn't get a chance to get my tree up this year i've been so busy but look there's a tree out there there's a tree there it's all lit up and there's a tree there and that's just one corridor it's really nice here so we're now going back to the room we've had a little bit of a wonder I don't even know if I said, but we did stay here back in 2016. A few things have changed, but not much. We just wanted to have a little look and just stretch our legs a little bit, but now we're tired. So we're gonna go back to the room and I will speak to you guys in the morning for the first day of Disney Christmas Eve. I'm so excited. Let's go. phone. Welcome to the Disney vlog. <laughs> Sarah's got soap on her phone. I need some tissue. Why can't my trousers? Oh but it'll make a stain. It won't just soap, it cleans, that's what it does. <laughs> Morning everyone, it's Christmas Eve and me and Matthew are heading into the park. Are you excited, Matthew? Aye. Aye? You always just say aye. Anyway, we're a little bit late because I couldn't get out of bed. Not even going to lie. I am just a bit tired. But I feel okay now and I'm really excited. So let's go in. We've already seen a little bit of Christmas decoration over there in the village, just walking from the bus station. I literally can't wait to see these decorations. I mean, all we've ever seen is summer, haven't we, Matthew? I think we should go in that way. So we're going to head into the park now. I didn't think Disney could get any better until I seen a dog outside. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It's a bit now, like boiling, and it's like wet, and now I'm a bit cold. <laughs> Me and Matthew normally like to guess what characters we've got on our tickets and they were in an envelope so we've just got them out and we're gonna we're gonna guess. So I think I've got Goofy or Pluto. I think because we always get Daisy, I think Daisy and Pluto. You ready? No. Matthew! They're not characters anymore! They're not characters anymore. We've no. changed the tickets. Would you like blue or yellow? Blue. And I'll have yellow. Obviously all the shows have changed for Christmas shows. Woo! Are we gonna go there? Matthew, it's not the up music. What? It's always the up music when we come in. Oh, and it's the tree. Whoa! That's huge! Oh my, oh my god, it just keeps going. Whoa! I did not expect that. Look at this tree! It's so pretty. There's blue trees everywhere. I, I don't think it's a problem that we didn't put our tree up when we left because there's a lot of trees here. This is so, so nice. It's like all around. Look at all the decorations. And it is so Christmassy, it's unbelievable. Look, look, Matthew, you've got the tree behind you, and then you've got the castle in front of you. It's so beautiful. There's just decorations absolutely everywhere, and the castle's sparkling, but I don't know if you can see it on camera. <laughs> Guys, this is Josh. He just came and said hi to me, so I wanted to put him in the vlog. Are you hi, having Josh. I am having it's beautiful, isn't it? Well, I hope you have a lovely Christmas. Thank you.
sparkly and my ears match pink and blue and they have little earmuffs on these are from um my friend hannah marie magic i think i mentioned i like every vlog because her ears are the only ones i ever wear and also she's been really kind and giving me a discount code so if you guys want to go and get some ears from her as well just use code sarah louise at checkout and I think, I don't know how much you get off, but you get some money off. And she has so many ears, so go and check her out. And she's absolutely lovely as well. So we're at Fantasyland, but I'm kind of feeling like Discoveryland. So I think we're going to walk around and go to Discoveryland. And I'm really just fancy like Star Tours, like um, Hyperspace Mountain. Are you fancying that? Yeah, it's going to be beautiful. Huh? We've been on it before. I'm not a baby. Oh, look at the castle. And then we're going to go... Probably on Star Tours because we didn't get to go on that last time when we were here in August. So we're gonna go around to Discoveryland. Hi, can I walk with you? No, Is that sorry. okay? Oh. Hi. I don't know if you guys managed to see that, but Cinderella was walking past. And like, I've walked with characters before, and normally if you walk fast enough, they don't mind. But I think I made the mistake of saying, oh, can I walk with you? And she went, no, sorry. And I was like, but anyway, I said we used to hike the vlog and she said hi. It, I, it's just a health and safety thing, isn't it? Like obviously, if everyone was walking with them, it wouldn't be very good. But um, yeah, next time I'm just not going to ask. I'm just going to grab her and be like, walk with me. Going down to Discovery Land. We tried to go and get like a little fast pass thing for the Princess Pavilion, but it's full up for the date. Normally it's by this time. So I think we're going to go on like Star Tours. We should go on Autopia because we didn't do that last year either. August when we came oh, last. Yeah. I think there's about four rides we want to go in Discoveryland, so I'm excited because I need some rides. Oh, it's warm. Oh, it is. Are you looking out for? Who are you looking out for? Oh, Kylo Ren. <laughs> We've just come off Star Tours. We both feel a little bit sick. <laughs> So we're gonna go. I know we're too old. So we're gonna go get something to eat now. I think we're literally just gonna go in the Videopolis like theater food place. Can't really be bothered to walk too far. And there's another couple of rides I want to go on here when we get out. But I need to get something to eat. So we're gonna go in here and see what there is. Hey, Matthew just ordered food, and I decided to order it in French. Cause you know it's polite, isn't it? When in Rome. When in Rome, speak French. And she clearly knew that I was in French because she replied in English. I was like, oh. <laughs> I tried. Well done for trying, though. I tried. I need your help putting my Cinderella flap under my coat. So me and Matthew are just at the castle again. We went to queue for Buzz and the queue was like quite long. Like we were stood there five minutes weren't we and it just didn't move. And it's getting dark soon. So we wanted to come around and just see the castle again and be an absolute sad and get photos. <laughs> so we got a few photos and then while I was getting a photo, uh, a lovely girl called Hannah came over and said hi. She said she followed my Instagram and everything. She was a bit shy to come on the YouTube. But if you're watching Hannah, thank you for saying hi. You really made my day. So we got a picture together and then now me and Matthew are gonna go into Frontierland. We've got about half an hour till the little like uh, castle stage show, Merry Stitchmas. So we're gonna go and try and get on Big Thunder, possibly meet Jack Skelton if we can. And yeah, then we'll come back around this way. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish No one's waving at me. No one's waving. You wave. Get them to wave. You wave at someone. Wave. They're all so grumpy. One person waves. They wave. <laughs> one person. I'm going to try and get someone to wave at me. To wave. Not one person waved at me. Hey. Grumpy people on Christmas Eve. Look, ducks, even better. <laughs> the ducks are nicer.
him to come over from Hawaii. Let me try something. Oh my goodness! <laughs> the horse? Do you think it's gonna work? Oh, what a fantastic idea! Oh look, it's working! Uh-oh, it's moving! Have I done something wrong? Oops! Incredible, unforgettable. Finch has his favorite toy! Listen, listen! watch the Christmas Stitch show, Stitchmas I think it's called, on the castle stage just here. Matthew very kindly recorded that. Whoa, look at the castle, it's so sparkly. Matthew recorded that and now, like 10 minutes after, there's a birthday cupcake celebration for Mickey that we're gonna watch. <laughs> Smells nice in there. Makes me big for that Go into the Disneyland Paris Hotel for a bit because I want a cup of tea and I'm cold. And also, I know well, I don't know, but I know what's in here for Christmas decorations wise. And Matthew has no clue. And I feel like this is somewhere you need to visit when you come for Christmas. You shall see in a second. Right, go around and I'll get your reaction. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a gingerbread house. Oh it's real gingerbread. God. What? It's real gingerbread. Hmm? I'm sure it is. It's an actual gingerbread. Or well, maybe it's not. But if it's not, then maybe it just smells like gingerbread. But someone told me it was real gingerbread. It's definitely not real gingerbread. It's got a whole make it there. We're going upstairs now. This banister is insane. Like the staircase and all the decorations. It's so gorgeous. Where's Matthew? Oh, there he is down there next to the gingerbread house. We're going up to the car to get a cup of tea and to warm up a little bit. We're just in the Disneyland Hotel. There's Matthew. Um, it's so Christmasy here. 
and we've sat down for a cup of tea and Santa's walking past so here comes Santa Claus <laughs> Mickey and Minnie have walked past, like loads of characters have walked past. And there's a piano player, like look over here. There's a big tree and all these lovely decorations and a piano player. It's very, very lovely in here. It's perfect Christmas Eve. <laughs> Squeeze into it. I would like to think so. That's the moth room. See that? That's Sneak Meat Suite. There's a Tinkerbell Suite. Walt's room? What? Walt Disney's room? No, it's just called Walt's room. They all have different names. All right. See how I knew all these? The sparkle. We've just come out of the Disneyland Hotel, had a cup of tea, and if that is not pure magic, I don't know what is. I think this is definitely the most magical place to come for Christmas. I mean, you can't beat that. That's nice. And then you go around the tree and there's a big sparkling castle. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean. It's really nice and warm in here. Haven't been on this in a while. Excited. Yo ho, yo ho, pirates life for me. Oh, it's so pretty in there, isn't it? Very relaxing. Looks really nice. Smells nice. Mm. Wonder where that dog goes. <laughs> Okay, so we've just gotten off Pirates and we're rushing straight back around to the town square because the Christmas tree lights getting turned on by Mickey is at quarter two, which is in four minutes and we really want to see it. It's, it's again in half an hour, but we want to see this one. So that's why we're rushing. <laughs> Run, Run, darling. I'm Run. Run. Santa? 
It's just worked. Maybe it has to be a two euro coin. You must have to have a two euro coin. Oh well. We're gonna have a little look in the shop. Because we couldn't afford to go on the guns. <laughs> we couldn't, we, we needed a two euro coin to go on the guns. Vegetable pies. We'll make pies. Oh, that's a nice bowl. You've got too many bowls. No, I, you remember I said every time I come out, I want to collect a bowl. And then the last- That's crazy talk. Last time I came, I didn't get one because there wasn't one I liked. Oh, these on you. What? I actually like that. That's super cute. What is it, like 9 dollars 12 dollars The only thing cuter than that is you. Hello. Hello. I'm not sure when the last time I spoke to you was, but me and Matthew are... We, went, we had a little look around the shops, didn't we? Um, I'm like really feeling the cold now though, like... I'm absolutely freezing it, I don't want to be outside anymore. So we're not going to bother with illuminations because we might be able to see it tomorrow. And I'm too cold and we've already seen it like three times now. So, and all the food places are shut. We went to get food and everywhere was shut. So we're going to see this birthday show that's on at the castle now for Mickey's birthday. And then we're going to just go to the village and get food while the rest of the crowd stay in the park. That was really good, yeah. I kind of just missed the beginning. We missed the beginning, but you get the gist. Yeah, sure, we'll get some food. I'm freezing now on food. Let's go. Me and Matthew, 
have come out of like we've seen I can't even speak. We've seen the Mickey show and then Illumination started and we left. We've seen it quite a few times and honestly I'm just really cold. So we're walking through the village now because we're gonna get a McDonald's because we haven't had our dinner. And then we're gonna take it back to the hotel because we're gonna try and miss the queues to get the bus. But we only have about 10 minutes to get the McDonald's and get back. So wish us luck. So we've just gotten back to the hotel. Um, I think I spoke to you when we were leaving. Oh, when we were going into the village and we went to McDonald's, but it was closed. Everything is closed. Like we tried three different restaurants in the park or two and they were all closed and we hadn't had our tea. So there was a Starbucks, well, Starbucks was open. So we went to Starbucks. We've just got some wrap. <laughs> So rude. We've just got some wraps and I've got like the world's biggest cup of tea. So we're just having them. I'm absolutely freezing. What What's bizarre is I'm freezing and he's, I can't show you him because he hasn't got his top on, but he's sweating hot because he doesn't, he's, you've not got your clo half your clothes on because he's that hot. And I'm absolutely freezing. I've got the quilt on us, the blanket on us. I don't understand what's happened. And it's Christmas day in the morning. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Christmas day in Disney. Ooh. And can't wait to see what Santa brings. Something epic happened. Can't wait to see what Santa brings. Why you got me a present? I haven't got you one. Yeah, something ep ep epic happened. When we were in Disneyland Hotel having a cup of tea, um, which was lovely, wasn't it, Matthew? It was mm. lovely. It was nice and warm and it was all Christmassy. So Inventions is like a restaurant in the Disneyland Hotel, if you didn't know, and it's where you can meet characters and it's a buffet. Me and Matthew want to do Inventions on Christmas Day. Like if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that. And for weeks since, before I even booked it, I was looking, like before I even booked this holiday, I was looking into booking Inventions and the sit down restaurants like Captain Jack's, all of the hotels doing Christmas meals, all of them were like, minimum 265 pound i think was the cheapest one i found for two people so inventions was coming out at about 400 to 450 pound for the two of us on christmas day so i just couldn't afford that like i was looking on all the websites where you could book it like like magic breaks gives these numbers and stuff if you put it all in and disneyland paris and they've now got an online booking system and it was seen it was fully booked and it was just in all sorts of crazy things so in the end we decided we couldn't afford it there was loads of people in there queuing and i was like it's just crazy that all of these people can afford and loads of them had loads of like kids as well and it was like that's a lot of money though like I get, I guess it's Christmas but anyway so I thought you know what I'm just gonna ask I'm gonna see like is there any available slots left for tomorrow and then I thought maybe there might be a discounted price because somebody might have cancelled and they might I thought you know what I'm just gonna ask after we'd finished out here I said is there any slots left for like inventions tomorrow night for two people and she was like you'll have to ask the concierge downstairs and i was like okay but if i do ask in the space will it be the escalated christmas price that like i've seen everywhere that it is and she looked a bit like confused as if like escalated christmas price anyway turns out it was it's exactly the same price as it is any other day of the year so what were all those prices online absolutely crazy so it's 69 euros so we went down to the concierge and there was a space at quarter past nine for the normal price of 69 euros each for the buffet so we booked it <laughs> that's a very long-winded way of saying we're booked inventions for tomorrow i know but like i know i know there's people that uh, do, do you mind having the top of your boobies in <laughs> anyway no but how long have i been looking matthew and they're all were ridiculous prices and people have told me like that they've eaten in Cap and Jacks and stuff last year and it was really expensive and yeah That's so right. yeah we're going to inventions tomorrow with all Let's the edit all that a bit oh. you're so rude with all the Christmas decorations I'm so excited it's it's a late slot but considering we've eaten our dinner late tonight I think we'll be all right so I'm really really excited I just want to say are you listening mm. I am very proud that we have managed to save up for Disneyland twice in one year and the second time was on Christmas Day, Christmas Eve and we've managed to pay for inventions. High five. And it's not lucky, <laughs> it's hard work. Because right. loads of people are like, you're so lucky. Which, I know you're already being kind, but I'm not lucky. I worked hard. <laughs> anyway, yeah. If so. anything, you have a lot of bad luck. Yes. 
I do. I feel like, especially with regards to online and stuff. But yes, so we're doing that tomorrow and I'm really excited. I can't, like, that's probably the, the thing I'm excited about the most, inventions. Because it'll be in the hotel, it was really nice, it'll be warm. If we sit in the right place, we might be able to see fireworks. But I don't know, because the tree might be in the way. Aye. Anyway. I'm really excited about that and I've been talking for seven minutes so I'm going to shut up. We're going to go to bed and I'll see you in the morning for day two. Christmas Day at Disneyland. Pew, pew. <laughs> we have matching jammies. These are from Disney Store, Shop Disney. But somebody's too hot to put his on. Say so good night. Good night. Good night guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Hi Mickey. Hi Mickey. Aww. Look at my pocket. Look at you on. I'm the slave. And Matthew's got one as well. <laughs> Finished in Disneyland and then we've come to, to, to Disney Store. Disney Store. Yep.